Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am your science teacher Nabila and today we are going to start our second lesson of second unit that is solids and liquids. As we have discussed that one way in which materials can be grouped is into solid, liquid and gas. These are three states of material. States means three forms of materials in which materials may be found. Most of the materials are found in only one of these states. Means we usually found any material in one of these states. For example, wood is present in the form of solid, oil is present in the form of liquid, and air is the uh, present in the form of gas because air is the mixture of different gases. Only water is the material that is present in all these three states. Usually water is present in the form of liquid. Naturally it is present in the form of liquid but when we put that liquid in freezer it becomes solid and their solid is known as ice and when we heat uh, it, uh, liquid water it uh, when it becomes heated steam is coming out of that uh, what liquid and that steam is actually the gaseous form of liquid then let's have a look on the human body uh, your body is a mixture of these three states of material. It is very interesting fact that we have all these three states of materials in our body. You have solids in body in the form of bones, teeth and nails. These three body parts are in the form of solids while liquid in your body are blood and saliva in your mouth. Saliva means the watery liquid in your mouth is known as saliva or spit, while the blood uh, running in our veins is the example of liquid. Gas in your body is in lungs in the form of air. Look at this picture you can uh, see that they are lungs and when we breathe in then air from our nose or mouth goes down in the lungs and when we uh, breathe out or exhale the air from our lungs goes back to the uh, outside from our body so this air in the lung is the example of gas in our body In this unit, we are going to look at two of these states, that is solid and liquids. Let's uh, discuss solids first. Most of the things we see around us are solids. For example, cup, book, ruler, computer, fork, and car. All these are the example of solids. There are many more. You can see different solids around you. Let's uh, look the properties of the solid. What are the characteristics or what are the properties of solids? Solids have strength, fixed shape and hardness. Means if you pick them up solids still keep their shape because they are hard and they always try to keep their shape and because of their strength we can pick the solids although uh, if we drop them then they may break some solids may break if we drop them but usually they try to keep their shape on holding. 
we can change the shape of solids by bending stretching squishing and twisting means if you bend some uh, solid or if you stretch something or if you sketch something or you uh, twist some solid then maybe it change its shape but it is very difficult because all solids try to keep their shape so these are the qualities of solids that they try to keep their shape because of their hardness because of their strength and because they have a proper shape but maybe solids some solids can be cut or shaped like uh, we can cut wood we make different types of things uh, from wood by cutting it and giving uh, the wood a new shape so some solids can be cut or shaped now dear students it's time for your homework your homework is that you have to do the reading of page 16 uh, the topics are human body and solids on your uh, book page number 16 there are topic human body and solids you have to read them and inshallah in our next uh, lesson we are going to discuss about liquids so it's all from my side take care of yourself and have a nice day allah hafiz and thank you so much